Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another bookish bullet journal spread. Today, I will be doing my October bullet journal. I am so excited for October. So many new things are happening for me. My husband and I are closing on our condo in October. We're going house hunting. Hopefully we move into our home in October. And I really want to participate in some Halloween spooky readathons in October as well. So I am using some construction paper that I purchased at my local dollar store. It's not the best quality, but it works well with what I'm going for. For some reason on my camera, the paper has like this purple tone, but it's black in person. Since I don't have a bullet journal, I do use some printer paper in order to cover up the lines. Sometimes the lines don't bother me and I try to work around them, but for this October spread, it was really in the way. So I draw up my calendar and this time I didn't mess up on the boxes. <laughs> All the pens and materials I use for this journal spread will be listed in the description box below for you guys to check out. I use Elmer's washable purple glue stick to glue everything in and I've been using the Paper Make Clear point mechanical pencils for about 11 years now and I highly recommend them. They are a bit on the pricey side but it's worth it. It comes with lead and multiple erasers as well. Then I use my black Prismacolor fine line marker to outline my pencil marks and drawings. I love the way this calendar turned out. I can't wait to start filling it out and oh my gosh, October cannot come any sooner. I wanted to draw out these three clouds and list what my top three goals for the month of October would be. For now, I don't have any in mind, so I left them blank for the video. What are some of your goals for next month? I was thinking perhaps doing a Halloween themed movie marathon for the month so you can watch like a classic Halloween movie every night. But I don't know, I feel like that's too much and I am going to get tired watching so many movies each night. But we shall see. I then used my white jelly roll pen in number 8 in order to add some white onto the black parts of my bullet journal, the other half of October, and of course the numbers on the calendar spread. I also used my usual Mars plastic eraser to remove the pencil lines that are showing. And of course, my favorite are the midliners. You guys need to buy these midliners. They are the best. I've been using them for two years now and I can't stop recommending them. They don't bleed or smudge through your paper. I found some Halloween washi tape that I ended up purchasing last year. I thought they were so cute and decided to add them on here. They are pretty glossy and really nice quality. I don't remember where I got them. I think I might have gotten them from Amazon. If I do end up finding them again, I will link them down below. I decided to draw a cat and color it in all black and try to do like outlined boxes around it for my TBR spread. And the black parts, the box could be white. Like, I just thought the idea was really cool and I love the way it turned out. I still don't know what books I plan on reading next month, but I have an idea. And if you want to see what books I do choose for the month of October and how I use this TBR layout, please check out my Instagram at neverendingyatbr. It is linked down in the description box as well. And over there I will post a picture of my TBR setup for this spread. All my Instagram accounts are listed in the description box below so you guys can check them out. I ended up using my Pigma MB pen in number 39923 in order to color in the cat and the castle shadow on the next page. I'm super excited to use this mood tracker, but I might change up the tracker page for next year. So instead of tracking my mood, I might track the type of 
um, books I end up reading, so like physical, audiobooks, or both. And I always have a brain dump page and I am including the stats page as well for this month. I often use the brain dump page in order to write down ideas I have for videos and such. And the stats page I don't use as often. I only like look at it at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. Um, but it's nice to have and I do track my channel and social media accounts and see how they grow. I have also started tracking how many pages and how many books I end up reading in the month as well. Does anyone else do that or is it just me? That's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my journal spare for the month of October. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!